R is a geostationary weather satellite that is going to be launching November 16th at approximately 4 p.m. Goes our weather satellite will be orbiting 22,000 miles above Earth's atmosphere. The information that we're actually going to be receiving from Goes R is about every 30 seconds. That is five times faster than any other weather satellite that we have actually had and that we have right now orbiting Earth. Image resolution is going to be four times greater than any other weather satellite. This is going to help when we're reading information in the infrared or we're actually tracking patterns that are down on Earth. And as for lightning tracking, we're actually going to be tracking it in real time as it's actually happening, even through the thick, dense clouds and very important for us so that we can actually protect ourselves in case of any type of lightning strikes and cause power outages, anything like that. Once operational in space, GOES R will actually be called GOES 16. GOES is actually um, an entire series of different weather satellites. You have the GOES R, the GOES S, the GOES T, and the GOES U. And what makes the GOES R so special is that it actually is going to be able to track weather patterns much, much more efficiently and much faster. The part of the satellite that's going to be monitoring space weather is actually called the Solar Ultraviolet Imager, as you can see here. Solar imaging is extremely important because we will be able to actually track when the sun may start to have maybe a coronal mass ejection or have a solar flare. And what's so important about tracking space weather is not only for astronauts when they're working outside the International Space Station, but also for us too, because when there are huge bursts of energy being released from the sun, it actually is affecting planes and it's affecting our GPS and it can be affecting so many other things here on Earth. And then there's the Advanced Baseline Imager. This is actually going to be able to detect severe weather faster and a lot more detailed. So this way we actually can put in our emergency plans a lot faster so that we can prepare so that there's more lives saved. One other cool thing about GO satellites actually is that they're placed in a geosynchronous orbit. This just means that it actually stays in one specific location facing towards the Earth just to collect data from that one desired section. For us, it's going to be facing the Western Hemisphere. And there's the magnetometer. The magnetometer is actually tracks the magnetic field in space. It's very important because it's going to help out our space travelers, our astronauts, and it'll alert them of any change in magnetism in, in outer space, which can be caused by something from the sun. So whenever you check your weather every single day, it's actually being retrieved from the Gozar satellite. So you can just thank them for that. So definitely keep following me. I'm going to be flying out to NASA Kennedy Space Center at Cape Canaveral, November 15th. And I will be going behind the scenes to figure out everything that it takes to actually launch a satellite into space. So keep track with me right here. I'm going to keep you guys updated on everything. I'll be doing Facebook Lives. I'll be doing Instagram behind the scenes. I'll be doing Snapchat, everything. So you guys can definitely check out that. And I'll be doing a YouTube page. I'll be writing articles, everything. So stay tuned. And thanks again for watching, guys. Talk soon. Bye.